Hi, I'm Annie. In case you don't know me, I am the owner and blogger behind Road to Reliance. Uh, I did this video because I wanted to fill you in on where we're at, but so much has changed. First of all, I want to give a big thank you. I want you to know to all my followers, to those of you that have been with me since the beginning, and there's a lot of you, over 1,200. I appreciate you. You have stayed with me and stuck with me through thick and thin. All of the things that have gone on in my, my life and in my, my world. And I just want to say a sincere thank you for sticking with me. I promise you it's going to get better. With that said, let me fill you in on what's going on. For those of you that don't know, over the last six years, my life has been a complete whirlwind. Things have gone on and happened to us that just don't happen to people on a normal basis. I started with losing my father in 2018. I had to go to Pennsylvania for an emergency with my son in 2020. I had a business going, had to give up the business, close it down to go to PA. Uh, while we were up there, my mom got colon cancer, called me. We had to just up and leave. Uh, my fiance had to quit his job. We had to pick up everything, went back to Florida. Got my mom taken care of, who is fine, by the way. Um, she actually beat stage three colon cancer, which is just unheard of. She is doing great now. Right after we moved back, our power got cut off because of a problem with the meter that the electric company refused to see. They shut our power off and we lived almost a year with absolutely no electricity whatsoever. So when I tell you that we learned how to live off the grid, we were forced and immediately learned to live off the grid. When we got past that, we started our business again. And in January of 2021, my son-in-law, which was my oldest daughter's husband and father of three children, was shot and killed at a nightclub in the end of January on my son's birthday. Eleven days later, my son overdosed on fentanyl and passed away on February 10th. So 2021 was a blur for me. I don't remember anything. I did the thing, but I don't remember doing any of the things. Uh, I did a lot of grieving, uh, a lot of, wow, I was just lost. I was lost for a whole year. I, I, losing a son is, is just a horrible, horrible experience that I don't wish on anybody. However, my son wanted me, before he passed away, to start a website which is where Road to Reliance came from to teach other people how to become self-reliant. And I started the website while grieving, didn't remember starting it, didn't remember doing half the things that I did, built it up, got a pretty good following, eventually come back around, started dealing with life again, started doing a podcast, started writing more posts. And it's kind of been an up and down road since then. Um, I just couldn't get it together. I, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to focus on. I was having a hard time after losing my son, figuring out who I was, what was going on with me. And I made a, a huge transformation um, over the last couple of months of who I truly am and what I'm truly meant to do and, and what I'm supposed to do in life. With that said, I know that all of you know that I had split up with my six-year relationship. I had moved to Pennsylvania on my own. Started a life up there, uh, was hanging out with my kids and my grandchildren, which I'm so grateful that I got the time to do. And I enjoyed every minute of it. However, I hated the weather. I, I don't like the cold. I really like Florida weather. Uh, in the process of getting my life together and figuring out who I was again and what I wanted to do, I also made amends with my fiance. We are back together and we are working it out and doing better than ever. In the meantime, I did give up being in Pennsylvania with my children, and I did move back to the state of Florida. However, if you know, before, I lived on 15 acres of property alongside my mom. We had three houses there, a tiny house and two other houses, uh, like I said, on 15 acres. And we had a pretty good farm established there. We had cows and chickens and pigs and you name it, we had it. We did not move back to that property. I actually have a caregiver living on the property to take care of my mom. And Lance and I have rented a place in Jennings, Florida, which is just outside of Valdosta, Georgia, near the Georgia-Florida borderline. Uh, it's on seven acres, and we are starting from scratch. Now it is a house, which is very, very nice. Um, I'm in my office right now, actually. 
and I will do a tour. I'll give you a grand tour of the house in an upcoming video. But we are starting from scratch. And when I say starting from scratch, I mean, there is no gardens here. There is no nothing here. It used to be a junkyard. Um, it is still in the process, some of it of being cleaned up. Uh, but we do have full run and can do whatever we want to as we rent from his family. So we're going to be here for a while. Now, are we staying here permanently? We don't know. Um, we have an option to buy it, uh, but we haven't made that decision yet. Right now, we're just trying to kind of get situated and start life over again and figure out what direction we want to go and if this is where we want to be or if we want to be somewhere else. So going forward, I wanted to let you know that kind of got off the, the website. Um, I, I kind of quit doing posts and I've done the podcasts, but they weren't really what I wanted them to be. I, I wanted them to be so much more. So I have a plan, which is why I'm doing this video to fill you in on what's going on with my crazy life that we have. Uh, going forward, I'm going to do videos, a lot of them. I'm going to do them weekly. And we're going to go back to the beginning. We're going to go back to what it is like to become self-reliant as if we just made this decision out of the thin air uh, to start over and, and to learn how to, to live this lifestyle. And I want to take you along the journey with us. So we're going to be doing a lot of gardening, food preserving, homemaking, simple life, but all with the end result of becoming more self-reliant. We're going to do videos. We're still going to do the podcast. We are still going to do posts, but they're going to be very hands-on, very specific skills and steps towards living a self-reliant lifestyle. I know that I've been sporadic and kind of all over the place and, and trying to get my focus. And I really think that I'm there now. I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> um, so I wanted to do this video for you to let you know that don't give up on us because we are really going really hard at it starting this week. We have a big plan. We've sat down. We've talked about what we want to cover. But I do want to hear from you what you want to learn. What are the things that matter to you about being self-reliant that we could teach you, whether it be rainwater harvesting or gardening or homemaking skills, something in the pantry, cooking, uh, DIY skills, simple things. And we are going to cover things such as changing the oil in your car or changing a tire or putting a spark plug in a lawnmower. Things that, you know, sometimes we take advantage that we think everybody knows and they really don't. Um, so there's going to be a lot of changes going forward. And I just wanted to do this video so you could kind of see who I was and, and where we're at and what's going on and be a little more personable. Um, just to give you the heads up. So this isn't your normal newsletter this week. I'm not sharing any post. I'm not, I'm not sharing any of that. I'm, I'm just putting this out there so that you know where we're at, where we are going forward. Um, if you could reply back to this newsletter and let me know where you're at on your journey and maybe some of the things that you'd like to learn and do or some skills that you'd be interested in learning, that would be a huge help for us. So I hope that you stick with us. Podcasts will come out Monday morning at 7 o'clock a.m. A new post will come out every Monday at 8 a.m. And as of right now, our YouTube videos are going to come out every Friday. Um, now, I may change the posting and I may change the post to Wednesday and then do the video on Friday. So I'll let you know in the next newsletter when that's going to be. But I do have all the topics ready to go and I have some of them published ready. And I do have some videos that we've already made. So they're going to be regular from here on out. So I just need your input. Um, let me know what you think. And like I said, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for, for joining my community. I'm really looking forward to getting to know everybody more. If you've been with me for a while, thank you so much for sticking with me. I promise you, I know it's been a rough road, but going forward, I think things are going to be different. So with that said, I hope that you have a great week. I hope that everything is good for you. I hope that you're ready to be on this self-reliant journey with us. And I hope that you stick with us because there's a lot of good stuff to come. So, all right. Have a good day. Bye now.